I was just going to the chow hall to get some breakfast and we hear the Marine and 7 Charlie call up. A uh, woman was just run over by a car. On that day, I was a guard duty officer. Uh, once I realized that all the Marines had a job, myself and Corporal Bone moved to coming up with a plan to get the car up. From there, I, I just know we have to get the car off of her, so I go to the trunk of the car, myself and another Marine grab the jack out from the trunk. Uh, Cobra Bone moved to get a jack from outside of the trunk of the car that was on the woman, and I moved over to a civilian who actually had stopped to help us and grabbed his jack. And as soon as I grabbed the tire iron, I started jacking the car up from the rear, and Staff Sergeant Belko proceeds to run over to a civilian's car, grab their jack from their vehicle, and then start jacking up the front of the car. By the time we had it jacked up, fire and EMS were already on scene. They pulled her out from underneath and we just kind of handed the scene over to them and just went into crowd control and were there for whenever they needed us. When you first pull up to a scene like that, your, your mind's racing because the rarity of someone actually being trapped under the vehicle is, is pretty rare. But she was actually trapped. We saw her entrapped as we pulled up. And uh, you start initially thinking about what you need to do to get her out, what kind of tools and your game plan before you can assess her. I think, it, honestly, their, their actions were integral to um, reducing the, the amount of time it took for us to take care of that victim. Um, they, they had the scissor jack out and were already working on, on uh, lifting the car off of the, uh, off the victim. That allowed us to come in and move, move the victim out and start getting an assessment a lot quicker. The immediate feeling was just relief. Um, and once I just informed all the guys, they were all just felt the exact same, just absolutely relieved that she made it out okay, and we were just happy to get the good news. Us, uh, honestly, if they hadn't done what they have done, it could have delayed, you know, uh, care for that for that patient. And when we we're always taught in the the fire service when we talk about EMS and trauma care that getting the, those those victims, you know, after doing a proper assessment, getting them to the right place quickly. And they absolutely helped uh, us do that that day. It made me feel great, but I knew that, that it wasn't just us. It was a direct team effort. We had neighbors that come, uh, passerbys had stopped to help. We had fire and EMS come, and, uh, and Marines run to the sound of the gun. So it didn't surprise me at all that the Marines were there.